So a very good afternoon to you. Um, about a week after the last vlog on um, Hanamula Inkjet GK papers, um, I said that I was going to do some more prints. I've got a. I said in that vlog there was about. I had about eighty. I've actually got more like a hundred. So this is a project um, that's going to sort of go over some time I'm not going to be able to get them all done it's just going to be way too expensive initially so I'm just gonna to have to do it gradually the prints have arrived a day early I was about to go for a walk and I was greeted by the postman with with these prints um, I haven't opened them I haven't had a sneaky look um, they are as you can see pretty much totally bound and I'm gonna to have to go very very careful here I'm pleased to see they're in a flat um, a flat parcel rather than a tube which is how the first one came and that one is right here and it's still <laughs> it is still um, a bit curved hasn't hasn't totally come out yet um, this is this is the print that I made that that initial vlog about. Um, that I'm pretty confident will straighten over time. Um, but yeah, just thought I'd pull that out. What I've also done, I mentioned my previous print printing technique, um, the Durst Lambda Durst Lambda hand printing technique, which I can no longer afford, which is the creme de la creme. Um, really really beautiful it's a gorgeous day not using any kind of front light here it's just light that's bouncing off white walls um, and hopefully you can see what these are like they are just sumptuous they're the best but they're also out of my league now so the whole idea of this lambda printing is to uh, this um, this Hanamula printing I should say um, G clay printing is to try and marry up a paper that's similar in weight, that is similar in um, reflectivity and tonal range. It's not going to be exactly the same and it's probably not going to be as good. But it's a very close second, I would say, so far. Now these new prints that have just arrived, this is kind of like the acid test. I'm a little bit concerned because, well, concerned, I don't know if it's the right word, excited, um, anticipation, I have, I want to know, one, whether the, the continuity is there. I've got 10 prints in here, four of which, and I've chosen these four because I've actually lost the DNG files for. So I, I was very keen to get them printed so I actually have a hard copy don't ask me how I've lost them they are four DNGs that to this day keep me awake at night just how I did it I couldn't tell you where they've gone I have no idea I don't know how I've lost them that's a scary thing if I'd sort of realized how I'd lost them that would be one thing I could then not repeat the error but it's just so scary not knowing what's happened to them i mean i've got, I've got you know thinking about my workflow i've got laptops i've got a desktop and i you know between the two they've i backed them up i backed them i've got three different files i back them up to i back them up to hard drives so i don't know i mean I, one hard drive is on the blink so maybe maybe they're on that one i, I don't I just don't know that that would be my guess but it is only a guess and I'll never know because I can't access it anymore uh, that's the scary thing about digital <laughs> photography folks um, I thought I was pretty diligent you know I think I am extremely diligent but clearly not diligent enough but anyway enough of that stuff let's crack on and open this parcel um, which I have to do very carefully, obviously. So I have a scalpel here. I'm just a little bit 
a little bit concerned, but um, but no, I mean, I'm really, really, really excited, not just because I want to really get my my head round how good this Hanamula paper is, but also how consistent the images are. I will show you these files on the timeline, so you'll see them as files within the vlog, as opposed to just these paper prints, printed files, um, paper prints. Um, and you know, those are the, these are the files that I've actually sent to Metro. Now this isn't an appraisal or a review of Metro um, per se. It's just a sort of, hey, let's go together and see, see what we've got, see how good or not good these are. So let's see how consistent they are. Um, this is this is their self service service, which I mentioned in the first vlog. Okay, so that section is open nicely, no damage there. Uh, it comes in a, I can't really show you so well, but this just seems to come in two more. Yeah, two, two envelopes. So that is brilliant. Box down there, the box down there, I should say, and no sort of damage on the exterior to these. So that's a relief. So far, so good. Another piece of card in there, and a bag, another bag. Let me see if I can just. They've not come like this before, so I'm just, a, it's all a bit new to me. So let's just, yeah, there we go. So this is the one envelope. It's like Christmas, isn't it? <laughs> um, great. Okay. So that's the one envelope. The second one. So these are 1216 prints on the Barita 325 gram fine art Hanamula paper. Well, that's a little bit weird. That's a smaller bag. Okay. Look like twelve sixteen, even though they're smaller. So what is going on here? All right. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. That make, okay. <laughs> Whew. I was thinking they'd done two lots, two different sizes, but no, that that, that looks okay. All right, so, moment of truth. So, 10 images, um, as I say, four of which I've lost the file to, so I was very keen to get these done first. Six others, um, one was taken in London, we'll, we'll, we'll come to it slowly, there's some Paris shots, there's some shots taken here, um, in And one in Denmark, and then one in Sweden. Paris, Denmark, Sweden, London. Okay, so let's go. Let's do it together. Let's let's just you know. No other way of doing this other than just. Quite a number of bags here, so they've all been. <coughs> excuse me, parcelled quite fastidiously over at Metro, which is great. Let's just have a look and see what we have. It's you know, 
as far as I'm aware, other than the packaging, I don't think anybody has seen these or handled them. Um, you just upload them literally and they come back a couple of days later. A day early in this case, which is fantastic. As I said, I was just off out for a walk and then I was going to do this vlog tomorrow. Okay, I'm just going to have to be a little bit... Interesting. These look a little bit curved as well. Ooh. Huh. Okay, that's two. I'm going to, I think what I'm going to do is just take them all out. Because there are a number of bags here, and rather than faff around, I think it's just going to be easier to... I don't know if you can actually see this. It probably can't, it's probably too low, but... Um, So, other than the actual, other than the actual reproduction of these prints, I'm actually really keen to see whether they are consistent with the first print that I did, and are they accurate to the file. That is going to be really, really interesting. Um, these prints, well, these files, I should say, have been knocking around now for about six years. So the excitement of actually seeing them is, you know, it's going to be really special. Seeing them in, in a hard copy like this is, yeah, it's just going to be fantastic. And so far, so good. Not that I've, you know, I'm giving them too much of a... So, the surfaces are nice and clean. Um, yeah, they're looking pretty damn good, I have to say. So I think, you know, as I say, you can upload these, but they have two different sections. One is the self-service. No, you have two sections within the self-service. So you can have one where you just upload them and that's it. Or you can pay extra and have somebody just overlook them for you and check and make sure. I just went literally. So I think if you're confident at knowing that your files are good and that they are what you want, then you can just go ahead. If you're not, then somebody will kind of, I don't know, maybe grade them for you or just check over them before they go to final print. I, I'm not exactly sure um, what's entailed there, um, how, how much they'll intervene at the other end. I've just been a bit gung-ho, partly for economy's sake, and thought, no, I'm happy with those files and I've checked and double checked because once you hit the send button, that's it. That's it, you know. They are. They're just going to. It's just going to go through <laughs> the system, I suppose. Um, but what happens if you have the other section, the other service where somebody intervenes? I'm not sure. I'm not sure to what extent they do that, how much they intervene. So. So the whole context of these, as I say, is trying to get something that looks like my other fibre-based, real fibre-based prints. Okay. Drum roll. First print looking like looking like well looking pretty damn good 
I'm looking for casts as well. So, cow in a river, eating leaves from a tree like a giraffe. <laughs> That's the first one. And I'm really happy with that. Really happy. Again, I'm going to show you the file. The file's going to come up here and you can see. But maybe you can get a, an idea of tone and texture and reflectivity of the paper. How This is the glossy paper, but it's not glossy, glossy. And that is really good. Really good. So. First one. Yep. That'll do. That's good. That's really good. Um, I'm thinking, yeah, consistent. Excellent. Any damage I'm looking for? This one taken in the Louvre in Paris. Just an image of opposites there, I guess. Um, age, black dress, white dress, and the rest of it. Very neutral. I'm looking at everything that was important to me. So the edge of this chest, I wanted the wood, you know, it could easily have gone pretty much black as the rest of it has here. But there was lighting at the side of her and it, I just wanted to sort of pick up that directional lighting. And I, that's just come through perfectly. Absolutely perfectly. So, excellent. Really, really good. This one, Sweden, just a lad on a boat. Um, but again, tones are just excellent in that. Really, really good. This next one, a carousel, this is taken in England. Um, and again, the stem, this is taken in the evening, but the stem, I wanted some reflection in there because there was some reflection. Um, but the rest of it, the sky, Just, yeah, sort of <laughs> people either sort of looking very, very exhilarated <laughs> or fear stricken. <laughs> um, this was taken in Oslo. Actually, this is Oslo, isn't it? Um, this is, yeah, I'm, this is my, one of my lost files. So, really pleased to see that. And Matt, again, I'm going to have a look at these in different lights, but that, again, is just really, really good. First off. Um, yeah, just saw this couple. Her legs slumped over his totally chilled yeah beautiful this one place called Mamtor in England I have no idea why I like that no idea at all it has all sorts of reasons for not liking <laughs> I should not like that especially but I don't know I just do some images you, you know, <laughs> don't overanalyze because, you know, 
bizarre. Just a snap, a very quick snap. Um, and this one. This is just a quick portrait I took at my local pub um, of this chap. Um, you can't see it, but he has purple hair. Um, he's just like a, yeah. God bless him. Um, but again, that's just come out perfectly. Absolutely perfectly. Just some detail in the black coat there, not too much, just a little bit. And the stubble on his chin, dirty fingernails. It's just all there, exactly how I, you know, you have it in your mind and how you want it to look. And that's. Yeah, excellent. No real casts that I can tell here. No real casts. Self-service. This is one taken on Oxford Street. Um, if you've seen that properly, but um, this is one, I, again, I've lost the file to. Just, oh, scares me, scares me. But yeah, just um, didn't go a whole bundle on it to begin with. It's funny how some images you're, you know, it's too fussy, too many people, too busy for me, generally for how I like to photograph. But then, it, you know, other people said, no, it's, yeah, they really liked it. And I, and I kind of thought, yeah, it's got something, I, you know, it's sort of not really how I go about taking a photograph so it was a little bit strange for me to you know get my head around a little bit to begin with generally don't like people looking in the camera like she is but then it's again it's just it's like a, a twos you know profile dump, and then this kind of <laughs> crazy woman with a, a mac on dirt, like a dirty old <laughs> mac and she's kind of got a hand under I don't know it's, yeah. Anyway, in terms of the... In terms of the print, very happy. Very, very happy. Another one I've lost. Oh. You, you forgive me. I'll just... Um, I've got to stop <laughs> saying it. Because it just... freaks me out every time I think about it but anyway that's another one you know just a snapshot really but all my all my images are snapshots you know um, but yeah all full frame all just I don't know <laughs> my idea of a wedding photograph I suppose um, the little girl lifting up the dress and it's just like a whole mechanical maneuver of this sort of um, wedding dress, that like a macaroon. <laughs> it was just, you know, the time and trouble that, yeah, you know, I don't know, this figure here just kind of looking under and then the cleavage here and somebody just grabbing the dress. I don't know. I just, I really like that. That was one of the ones that I really liked straight away and I still like today. Um, yeah, but again, tones just great. Really, really good. Really good. Still a bit rubbery, these images. As I said in the first vlog, they have this rubbery feel that the others don't, but hey. And this is one just taken in Paris, which I think I've shown on other vlogs. Maybe you've seen on other vlogs. Just a reflection, uh, the shadow of a pigeon, um, chimney, aerial, and this is actually quite important because, yeah, it's even managed to get these very subtle tones. So there are some grasses down here, 
which I'm not sure if you're going to see, but they, again, in my, the way I've processed this image, I've, I, you know, I wanted, I wanted these grasses in and I wanted the very subtle tones of them. And it's, this is just handled exactly what I, you know, exactly what I wanted. Um, just so there's a sort of strange fusion of these grasses and the bushes bleeding into the shadows um, early morning in Paris on a courtyard. Just drinking a coffee. I mean, I'm, it's just astonishing how good it is. Just excellent, really, really good. It's. I don't think it's as good as my other printing. It's not as good as my other printing. But you know what? It's not. It's. It's good enough to. It's good enough to. Not. Be too alarmingly different. Again, you can't really see. Necessarily, the tones in, in these. In the this is these are the lambda. Durst prints. Um, these are just exceptional. These are these are really the highest, most high end prints you can have done. Um, just extraordinary. Um, so I'm, this is what I'm trying to recreate, if you like. Um, so it doesn't kind of look too obviously different. And I don't think they do. You know, the discerning eye when you're close up, yes. I mean, just the feel of them is different. There's no rubbery feel to these whatsoever. <laughs> so, you know, there is that. But um, but other than that, you know. I'm, I'm, pr I'm, I'm you know, I, I'm as... The tones are very, you know, they're not the same, but they are very similar. These, are, I would say, are just the epitome of neutral, I guess. Maybe slightly, slightly warmer. Um, I prefer slightly cooler, and the, which is what these are. So, I'm no, I'm not going to, <laughs> I'm not going to say maybe I prefer them. You know. I don't. I wish I could have them all done like that, but I can't. That's just reality. But yeah, really, really good. Just exactly what the file and my processing has, you know, I'm seeing all of those little subtleties, all of those, you know, the blacks haven't gone blacker than I wanted them to go. Um, it's just, it's, it's really, really good. I'm, I'm, and the consistency, the continuity is 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 amazing, really amazing. It's it's excellent. I mean, I'm really. This is the so this is the second time I've had this done. I've not, you know, I've not had this done other than that previous, other than that previous print of those two people dancing in Paris. So look, this is this is great. This is really really good. I guess you know if I'm still printing these hundred prints in in a in 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 two years' time, I guess there could be some variances. I'd be very surprised if there weren't, in all honesty. But maybe I just have to live with that. But in terms of finding a paper, wow. These you know these 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 are these are excellent. So yeah, just wanted to head that up to you, show you what was what. Give you an impression of Hanamula paper. Give you an impression of what Metro can do. They've absolutely nailed it, and that's the self service. Um, you know, as I say, you have to be very, very precise because once you've uploaded it, that's what they're going to, you know, that's what the automation is going to see and read. So you have to, you have to have a good monitor, a calibrated monitor, and all that kind of stuff. But as long as you get all that right. No reason why you, you know, why you can't use that. It's actually just really lovely to see the prints in print form now. I mean, it's just, wow. It's really, really fantastic. Um, 
So yeah, anyway, gloating aside, not gloating, I'm just uh, really happy to see them, uh, as I say, in, in print form, as opposed to, you know, some, you know, a kind of file form, you know, zeros and dots on a screen. Um, but yeah, thanks very much for stopping by and see you for the next one. Cheers for now.